man, I just seen the craziest shit in the world. Yeah, I'm just fucking around on the goddamn internet, sitting here next to baby girl. You know what I'm saying? Just chilling. Ain't doing nothing. Trying to mind my business. Not really, but just looking on Facebook, just, just checking around. I see this goddamn app where this dude, they painting on him, I guess, some thing, and it gave him abs and chest and tattoos and all that. I just want to say this. Please, motherfuckers, don't think I do that. Uh, I got a gym, and I eat right, and try to work out as much as I can. So please, out there, if you ain't got it, don't flaunt it. It ain't for you. Listen, everybody call certain people, uh, you arrogant or conceited. Well, everybody can't be arrogant or conceited. So, uh, <laughs> that's just a fact. That's like a, 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 a fat, ugly girl with a bad attitude. You can't have that. You, if you big and fat and ugly, please be nice. You know, pretty bitch with a little attitude. Like, yeah, you get away with it for a little while until you get with them. And then you understand, bitch, I got, uh, you know, I'm OCD and I'm like ADD. Uh, you lose my attention real quick. I get bored fast. So, bitch, you better get your personality real quick. Fucking with me. Because you know the solution at the end of the day is prostitution. So, you got to get it together. I can't never seen no shit like this. Now, I just found out today as well. Uh, watch Dave Chappelle. Can't take no credit for this. But uh, he has shared about this police officer. I uh, don't know his name. Black cough officer in L.A. Uh, had a white cop, uh, did a routine um, warrant delivery, whatever, and he handcuffed the guy and his partner, which was white and female, I guess, knee the guy or did some excessive shit. And he's now he's a square, really good uh, uh, police officer. I'm not gonna say black, but just just a, a person. His his military record was 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 spotless, and his uh, credentials and shit like that at work was just spotless. So he reported his white partner, you know, for excessive uh, force. And he went through the all right channels and he ended up firing this guy and uh, he lost his job. And he went through all the channels the right way to try to get his job back. And when he lost his last appeal, he had uh, told the people that uh, the police and all the ones powers to be that he is going to go after them and their families. Now, that's very, very scary and very um, ominous to say. Um, but needless to say, this gentleman, uh, Ran around and uh, started murdering police officers. I think he killed two, three of them, maybe four. And they tracked him down uh, to Big Bear Mountain in California. He was hiding in the cabin. 400 police showed up. 400. I didn't stutter. 400 police showed up. And they turned this man into Swiss cheese. You know, they shot this motherfucker more holes in a little bit. Now, why did they show up 400 deep? Because one of their comrades or some of their comrades have fallen. So why don't they understand when we lose our comrades that we're not supposed to be in an uproar or show up in force or do anything to get representation or, 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 or reparation, right? So these, these, these are the two extreme uh, things that people are looking at. Well, well, if you hurt me or police, or, well, all hell breaks loose, but if we hurt a civilian out there, well, it's okay. Well, it should not ever be that way. It should be reversed. Um, first of all, you, your fucking income and shit comes off of my fucking taxes or people's taxes. So the people that you're abusing and beating down are actually paying for you to do this. Um, that's just economically and just stupid business. Um, if I'm paying for a product um, and I'm not receiving uh, what I should be getting from this product, then I should be able to return it or no longer have this uh, in my life. But see, we don't have that choice. But I see Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis is starting to go down that road of fuck the police, for real. We don't need you motherfuckers. If you don't do all that, we can police ourselves. We know what's right and wrong. Like back in the day, when I fucking broke a window or did some bullshit down the street, the news beat me home. I probably got my ass whooped twice before I even see my mom before she whooped me. It was neighborhood watch. It was it was each one teach one. It was, takes a village to, to raise us. And, and, and we lost that because, you know, Police is in there, you know. You, you know, like I said, they don't have serve and protect on a on, on a cars. I remember uh, Jeff Mayo. Jeff Mayo is a good friend of mine. His dad was one of the top cops in, in K Town, and we'd be at barbecue, smoking weed, drinking, you know, fucking moonshine and shit. And he would sit down at the barbecue, eat with us, wouldn't trip on us, you know. We, we was respectful, you know. We wouldn't 